Okay, so this is part two of uh, this 2000, in, 2000 two unit paper, question 10. So if you haven't seen the first part and how where we did part I of this question, please find the video for that. Now we're going to have a look at the second part of this question. Now in the second part of this question, let's have a look at, at what it involves. So in the period from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m., the snowplow clears one kilometer of the road and it takes another 3.5 hours to clear the next kilometer. And the question asks us to find what time it begins snowing. Okay, cool. Uh, so before we even get looking into the question, let's have let's just break down a bit of the information that we find in this question. Now, 8 a.m., what time does that refer to? Well, from the beginning, from the previous part, we see that we let t is equal to big T. That meant that that was 6 a.m. So if it's 8 a.m., that's just going to be t is equal to big T plus 2 hours. So 8 a.m. is going to be big T plus 2 hours. The second part is we've got 3.5 hours. And that's going to be t is equal to, well, it's another additional 3.5 hours after to 8 a.m. So it's going to be 11.30. And what we're going to have to write that as is t, big T plus, I'm going to add 3.5 to the previous equation up here. So it's going to be t plus 5.5. So we've got those two times first to consider. Now, after we've got this, how do we actually go about this question? Well, if you have a look, what we have so far is we have a rate of change of the distance as plowed uh, with respect to time. What we don't have is actually, we don't have an equation that represents how much road snow gets plowed in regards to time. So we've got a rate of change, but we don't actually have a function of x in terms of t. We don't have that. But because we have the rate of change, what we can do is we can find this out by integrating it. So that's what we're going to start off by doing. So part two, to k over t, what we're going to do is we're going to integrate this to give me a function of x in, with respect to t. So that's x is going to be equal to the integral of k over t with respect to t. Now this is a reciprocal function, so if you remember, so recall, I'm going to put this on the side here, when I integrate 1 over x dx, for example, that just gives me ln x plus c. So for this one, I'm going to get k ln t plus c. Great. So we have that relates time with how much snow gets plowed. Okay, now, if you look at this function, there's a constant of integration at the end. And we don't want that constant of integration. So we're going to have a look at our question and try to get rid of that constant of integration. Usually what we've tried to do is we've introduced the initial conditions. So when t is equal to uh, the starting time. So for this one, the starting time is actually t is equal to t, big T. So we're going to go when t is equal to big T. I'm going to put this in the center. It's equal to big T. Now, that's when the snow plow starts plowing the snow. So, what's x going to be? Well, when it starts plowing the snow, there shouldn't be any snow that has been plowed. So, the distance that has been plowed is zero. Okay. So, we have, when t is equal to big T, we've got x is equal to zero. So, we're going to substitute this in. Zero is equal to k ln big T plus C to negative k ln big T. And we substitute both of these in, so when I put these all together, I get x is equal to k natural log of t plus minus k natural log big T. Now I'm going to factorize the k out, so I got k natural log t minus natural log of big T. Now remember your log laws, when I have when I subtract logs, 
I'm going to subtract logs like this. That just equals to I divide the stuff that's inside. So this will give me K ln T over big T. Cool. So we've got an equation that relates. Just put a box around this properly. This equation relates how much snow gets plowed in, with respect to the time it takes. So x and this small t. So that's, a relation, that's the equation that relates to. Okay, cool. So we've got that. Now what do we do? Well, if we have a look at the conditions in the question, we know that when t is equal to big T plus 2, we know that it plows through one kilometer of road. And then when it gets t is equal to t big t plus 5.5, it plows through the next kilometer. So that means that this when t is equal to t plus big t plus 5.5, x is going to be equal to 2. And when t is equal to big t plus 2, x is going to be equal to 1. So we're going to have two equations that we're going to use to help us find what that ori original time is for it to start snowing. So let's have a little go at that. So, let's do this. So we've got... When, oh, I'm going to write this properly. When t is equal to t plus 2, x is equal to 1. So we've got 1 is equal to k ln t plus 2 over t. Let me just write that a little bit neater. It's the first equation, so we've got one equation here. And then the second equation that we have is when t is equal to big T plus 5.5, x is going to equal to 2 because we've plowed 2 kilometers of snow. So we're going to get 2 is equal to k ln big T plus 5.5 over t. So we've got our second equation here. Hmm, okay, what are we going to do now? Well, what we can do is we can equate these two equations by making the left-hand side equal. So then just have a look. We've got 1 on this side and we've got 2 on this side. What we can do is we can equate them by making the left equation equal to 2 as well. So by doing that, I double it. So I've got 2, 2k, and 2, and so I can equate equation here with this expression here. So I've got, when I do that, I've got 2k ln is equal to k ln t plus 5.5 on big T. Cool. So when I get to this point, what I notice is that on both sides, I've got natural log terms. We've got natural log both terms on both sides. What I want to do is I want to just get rid of everything else just so I have the natural log sign and I can just compare terms inside both of those natural logs after I've gotten rid of everything on, else on the outside and it will be equals. So what I'm going to do, we notice on both sides there's K so I'm going to cancel K's out. Whoop, that's not the right term to cancel out. Let's cancel out the case. So t is equal to ln t plus 5.5 on t. Now from here, we're going to recall one of our other log laws. So when we have n times natural log of a, what this is equal to is the natural log of a to the power n. So when we multiply all the coefficient outside the natural log, just means that I can take it inside the natural log and raise the term inside to that power. So what I'm going to get is, on the left hand side, I'm going to get ln t plus 2 on t all squared. And that's equal to ln t plus 5.5 over t. Now, on both sides, we now have just a log function. So what I can do is I can just compare the stuff inside the logs. So we've got t plus is equal to t plus 5.5 on t. Cool. 
I'm gonna expand that. Is equal to t plus five point five on t. I am now going to multiply both sides by t squared to get rid of it. The t squared over here, and get rid of all the denominators. I find that over really equal to now when I multiply the right hand side by t squared and then I need to multiply the top by t so I get t squared plus 5.5 t when I move this all to one side what I'm gonna get is I've got or is equal to zero so we've got t is going to be equal to 4 divided by 1.5 5. Cool. So I've got 4 divided by 1.5. I'm going to put this into a calculator. 4 divided by 1.5 gives me 8 over 3. That's equal to 8 over 3. Cool. So we have a value for t. Now what do we do with that? Well, let's have a look back at our question. What does finding t actually tell me? Well, when I find t, we said that t, small t, is the number of hours uh, sent from the beginning of snowfall. Now we know that when t is equal to t, when t, that corresponds to 6 a.m. So, if we were to, we were to get t is equal to 0, what we would need to do is we need to subtract t minus t to get zero. Big T this time. So what we need to do is we need to take our 6 a.m. and subtract 8 over 3 hours. Now 8 over 3 hours, that's just 2 and a third hours. So this is going to give us 3.40 a.m. I think that's the answer that we have here. Oh, 3.20? Yes, no, that's 2 and 2 thirds. My bad, that's going to be 3.20 a.m. So when t is equal to 0, that's when you have t minus t. And we know that t is equal to 8 over 8 over 3, so we subtract that from that 6 a.m. So let's summarize what, we had done, what we've done in this set question. What we had to do first is we need to figure out an equation that would relate time and my, the distance has been plowed. So I need to integrate the rate of change that we had from last question. Then from there, we had to, we had to, so this was this step, so I had to find that equation. Then from there, we use the information from the question to give me two sets of equations, which then I equated and did some algebraic work to figure out what the value of t was here. And once I found t, then I needed to figure out that, well, when, what, does, what does big T actually mean? So that means it's 6 a.m. So if I subtracted the value of t, that would give me what time, the time it started snowing was. So that was part two of the question that we had a look at. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask me in class. This is part two of the snowplow question.